In this video, I'm going to go over how to navigate the Grad Planner tool. Viewing the Grad Planner on a computer in full screen will definitely help to give you a better experience. But you can see that I'm starting from the home page of my BYUI, and what I want to do is come up here to the search bar, and I can just type in iPlan. And what I want to do is go to iPlan Login. Now it's going to ask us to log into iPlan. I've already logged into BYUI, so it should remember my credentials, but I do need to click on this BYUI login here. Now we can see there's a few different options that pop up, and I want to go ahead and click on the Grad Planner tool. So now that it's loaded, what I can do is I can see the declared plan here, and then it is possible to create alternate plans if you wish, just to view different options, different courses that you could take, things like that but we're going to stick with the declared plan. So I'm going to go ahead and click View Plan. Once it's loaded, there are three different areas to the Grad Planner tool. The one that I'd like to show you first is this header up at the top. You can see there's different alerts that you can view. You can see messages. You can also come over here and click on See Details. Now this will give you more information as to your GPA, the number of residency credits, upper division, you can see also the courses that you've taken towards general education, your degree, and your electives. So it all shows up here. But to go back, I'm going to click on Hide Details. Now the second area is My Plan right here. So this is what gives you a detailed view of all of the courses. Now I can look at a previous year, let's say 2014. I can click on this down arrow and it'll expand it. So within each year, there are three different semesters, and I can see the courses that I took in that semester. Now I can also click on View a Single Semester as well, and this will just expand the view and show you everything within a certain semester. Now to go back, I'm going to click on View All Semesters here, and then I can collapse this year, and now let's go to a future year. So right here I can see winter 2021. Now from this view I can see these are some courses that I need to take and these are some courses that I already have planned. Now the third area is the requirements and courses. This is found on the right side of the page and it contains all of the required courses needed to complete your degree. There are three main tabs to plan your degree. There's the general education, degree, and electives. To choose courses from here, you can simply click and drag them into my plan or click on the plus sign. Either way is going to work. The General Education tab contains seven areas of required courses. We have Cornerstone Requirements, Eternal Truths, Quantitative Reasoning, Writing, College Success, Breadth 1, and Breadth 2 courses. Students will need to make sure that they have completed each section within general education. The Degree tab will indicate which courses are needed specifically for your major. Within the Applied Technology degree, you will see that Requirement 1 opens options to select two certificates. To select a certificate, click on Make This My Option. So if I scroll down here, we can see these are the different certificates that we could choose and so I'm going to simply pick this one and this one to make those my options and then these courses will need to be dragged over and planned wherever we would like to take them but make sure you complete two options within this requirement. Requirement 2 opens options to select a certificate so these are the options that we have now based on those previous choices that we have selected. I would need to decide which one I would like to take and again click this slider to make this my option and then move those courses over to the applicable semesters. Please keep in mind when selecting your certificates that web front end should be taken before web back end and computer support should be taken before system administration. Requirement 3 contains your internship class and senior project class. These are required for graduation. Then the electives tab 
will show you which elective classes you have taken and give you access to add any elective classes related to your major into the Grad Planner. Electives will only be needed if you are short of the credit requirement. We can see with this plan that we are at 119, and so we have one elective planned. We can see which ones have been completed, and so we may need to plan another one just as an example. To select an elective course, click here on Search Courses. You can type in the one that you're looking for and then add it to your plan. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any other questions, you can always contact Online Advising.